Hi guys, this is Kwabi from Kwabi.com. Sorry, I was a little late. I was trying to go on with my cell phone and it um, didn't quite work, so I had to rush up and get my laptop. But I wanted to be outside. I just didn't want to be inside because the weather's really nice today. And if you're on, hey, say hi. Um, so today is it's so beautiful out here today. I, I There's no way I could be inside. It just was not happening. So if you're on, please, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, smile, heart, something. Hey, I see some people on. Nice. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Katia. All right. So you know what? Um, if you have dogs, you probably will get this. So my dog groomer called me, and um, he they're still open. And he said, oh, Kwabi, um, would you like to bring um, Shadow, my dog, in to be groomed? <laughs> and I won't lie to you. The first question I wanted to ask is, do you do humans? Because my hair is in a state. As you can see, I'm having, I have a wig on because my hair is just in a state. I'm really not good with hair. So any advice you can give to a sister, hook me up. I just, I'm not good with my hair. So any advice to, you know, different things I can do would be really appreciated. Okay, so let me arrange this a little bit. Okay, because the way it was situated, it seemed like I didn't have anything on. <laughs> I didn't want you guys thinking that, you know, I was topless. Anyway, so, you know, we're all living in uncertain times right now. It's just, there's, the certainty is gone in terms of when things are going to get back to somewhat normal. And we're, for lack of a better word, we're living in a health crisis. Um, so, oh, okay, Katia, hook me up. Okay, please. Oh, you make your own chat. Oh, my goodness. And hair, but okay. Now, Katia, you need to share, girl. You need to share. Oh, uh, out of beauty shining. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Yeah, so Katia, share that information, girl, because I need information on what to do with my hair. It's like I put it in two braids, and that's, it's best. As I, and, but the braids are not the kind of braids that you can expose. So it's like, okay, you know what? So please help me out. Um, perfect. Thank you, darling. So what I wanted to share today was something I learned. I've been part of a, a, a Rise Up Challenge for the past, wow, 20-something days. And I've been learning all these different things about business. And one of the things I learned um, the other day, and I had to share, because I truly believe that if you learn things and you don't share them, that just means you're just consuming. You're not really doing anything with it, which to me is doesn't make sense to me. You know, if you learn things, you need to put it out into the world. Consuming and not creating just does nothing. That means you're just, you're just holding the information. And when you, when you receive information, you need to put it back out there because you know why? Other people need to learn from it. That's the whole point of it. It isn't for you just to consume for yourself. It's so others can learn from it. So there was some, um, there was a conference two days ago and we had this amazing speaker called Coach Bert. And he shared something that stuck with me. And I just said, I have to share it with my audience. I have to share it with my friends. I have to share it with my fans. Anyone who wants to listen, because this will help you through these uncertain times that we are living in. And you know what he said? Um, okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, I can see. And you know what he shared? He said, you need to diversify your confidence. Seriously, I had never heard that before. And to me, that was like gold. I mean, think about that. Diversify your confidence. Now, we all hear about diversifying finances, device for your investment. Diversify your confidence. That is huge. Because guess what? A lot of us have our confidence in one thing. Some people might have confidence in the way they look. Some people might have confidence in their youth. Some people might have confidence in their intelligence. Some people might have confidence in just their physical look. Some people might have in their confidence based in their career. Some people might have, have confidence based in their wealth. Some people might just have their confidence based on their family status. I mean, think about that. Now, if you have your confidence in one area and that area goes away, what happens? You're left with nothing. You are knocked down down for real but if you diversify it and have your confidence in so many different buckets 
you're good. I mean, think about it. If you have your confidence in your spirituality, if you have your confidence in your finances, if you have your confidence in your family, if you have your confidence in, in um, who you are, if you have your confidence in your family, and any of these get knocked down, you're still good. You're still standing. But if you base your confidence in maybe your career, and for some reason your career is gone, which in some cases right now it happened to a lot of people, what are you left with? Nothing. How can you stand up again? Because you base everything, who you are, what you stand for, in your career. I'm saying when he said that to me, I was like, oh my goodness, this is gold. I need to share this with anyone who is ready to listen. Because think about it. During this time, if you start to, start to diversify your confidence in different areas, by the time this is done, because we don't know when it's going to be done, you're going to be solid. You're going to be rock solid. Your confidence is going to be rock solid. So it doesn't matter what happens. And when I think about it, it's a great way to live, really, because think about it. If you base your confidence in your youth, for instance, hmm, hmm, is right. You're not going to be young forever, really. It's not going to happen. If you base your confidence in your finances, what if, like, how the economy has turned out? You, you lose a massive amount of money. Will you be able to get back up and do something else where you can still stand? If it's based in your career, what if you lose your job? Will you be able to get back up, start something new? If that's all your confidence is built in? Maybe not. My goodness, it's so windy out here. So I wanted to really share this. Okay, you know what's going to be the worst thing that can happen right now? Is <laughs> my wig to come off. <laughs> All right, people. I know that'll be funny, but it's okay. You know what? Hey, if it happens, it happens, right? Hi. <laughs> My neighbor, some little girls are passing by and they wave to me. But yeah, really. So you have to get your confidence. Put them in di different buckets, people. Diversify your confidence, really. Because putting it in one area, mm, I don't know, people. It might be rough. It might be rough. You might want to diversify and put them into different buckets. That's what Coach Bert said. And I really believe Coach Bert. <laughs> but really, um, oh, you do know you're laughing. Seriously, though, if this wig fell off right now, <laughs> that would really be funny. But, you know, hopefully it won't. But no, seriously, I wanted to share this with you guys just, you know, just to get you guys thinking about what you can do during this time because this is the time to start really thinking about what we can do in these times to get us through. It's, it's a tough time. It's un, we're uncertain. No one knows when it's going to end. And we're not sure, even when it does end, what's going to happen. We don't know. Are we going to keep doing this physical distancing? I prefer to say physical distancing than social distancing because we're still socializing. We're just not physically together. So what's going to happen? It might, we don't know. So if you can base your confidence in so many buckets, you're gonna come out, out of this stronger. You're gonna come out of this with rock solid confidence, seriously. But I wanted to share that with you guys, and I think I might need to go in before this, <laughs> this wind blows my wig off. All right, guys, I wanted to share that with you guys. Enjoy your Sunday, and think about it, guys. Where do you wanna put your confidence? Which buckets do you wanna put your confidence in? And share this with others. All right, take care, guys. Bye.